Right, are you in there then, dogs? Are you there? Oh, yes, you are, yes. Are you both present, Oscar? Cleaning your feet? You look very relaxed, don't you? You in the front there, wife? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Well, hello and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. And we're in the van again, aren't we, Sue? Mm. <laughs> so, uh, the big question, where are we off to today? Darsham. To Darsham. And it's a little family-run site called Mill Hill Farm. And we booked this in the autumn of 2019. And little did we know that it would be cancelled for Easter 2020 and then cancelled again for Easter 2021 and here we are Ooh, at um, yodel delivery. 2022 and Sue's just got a yodel delivery mm. so she's gonna jump out and get that while I just say good morning well we're gonna we're a little early we can't arrive until two o'clock so um, we're uh, gonna go and find somewhere for lunch which probably involves a little bit of shopping as well but um, Sue's uh, just picking up a parcel look have a look at that I'm sure it's something that she's ordered online <laughs> anyway we're gonna get on the road and we'll tell you where we end up Well, we decided to go through town and up to the other side of Ipswich to um, a store, uh, go outdoors and uh, do a little bit of shopping. We knew that there was one or two eating places up here. Um, it's not far from Asda and uh, one or two other retail outlets. But um, of course, when we came round the roundabout, I realized straight away that there was some of these sleeping policemen things in the road and uh, we've notoriously had problems with them because we only have just over six inches clearance under the van so um, anyway we drove slowly and managed to get in quite nicely and park up Having done a little bit of shopping, we decided to come out at the back end of the car park and the sleeping policemen on that end were slightly higher and we caught two of them. But fortunately yeah, there was only just a little scrape and no damage was done. Got up onto the A14 and I said to Sue it would be very nice to uh, take a little bit different route and I'll show you on a map here. Um, we've come across Ipswich and when, rather than going up the A12, which we would have normally have done um, from our side of town, and uh, it would have taken about 40 minutes, we decided to come up the A14 and then take the A140 to Stonham and then cut across and through the villages.
That looks a happy boy. Should have done with the hose, really. I'm too lazy to get it out. Mm. Well, good morning. We are at Mill Hill Farm in Suffolk, Darsham, a little village just up the east coast of Suffolk. And Joe is with his van here putting a windbreak up. Now, that's not windy, but perhaps you want a bit of privacy. Do you reckon? Let's watch him. Well, we've had a nice day today and went for a little walk. Girls went one way. Well, she and I have faced it like a, a, a fine drizzle coming down right now. You can see it going across the fields. We've walked to Westerton, which is one and three quarters of a mile away from our campsite, and we've found this lovely 14th century thatched church in Westerton. I've come into the church in Westerton and I'm on my own. And the stained glass windows. I've just got a little bit of coloration on the top of that one. And the ones at the far end of the church, just around the edges of the windows. It's so quiet. You can hear a pin drop. Boys went the other way. And uh, we're back at the vans now and uh, it's sort of late afternoon i've got my coat back on start to get a little bit chilly even though the sun is over yonder and uh it's gonna be a nice little sunset the sky is blue but it's a nip in the air so um anyway sue's um d dog hair uh, <laughs> over here and um we've been cuddling the dogs having a right old chit chat with uh sheila and joe and uh, joe has decided to get the Kadak ready. So um, he's just gone in to get all his bits and pieces ready. We'll join him in just a moment. Here we are, look, all set up. A nice pitch 53 here at Mill Hill Farm in Suffolk, a little village called Darsham. <laughs> You're hiding behind your hand, wife. No, sun's in the eyes. Sun's in her face. Hey, a nice, nice, good sized pitch here. With uh, if you were a caravan, you'd park your car in front. A uh, nice, long, deep grass area, and then uh, Sheila and Joe are facing the opposite direction to us, so that we can have our canopies together. And uh, the site have provided us with a nice picnic table, which we're going to make good use of when we eat tonight. Uh, little Sophie's feeling the cold. Hey, Soph. Sophie, Sophie, oi, look here. Uh, she spotted something. Hey, oi, here. Yeah. Oscar yeah, wants to say hello. Any boy? Hmm? Yeah, he's coming in for, for a bit of action. All right, mate. How oh, mate? Got it sorted, have you? Got it sorted out, have you? Oh, <laughs> Uh, look like you put the legs on, and last time yeah, we come I've got away, the legs today. last time we come away, you were legless, weren't you? Oh, I wasn't going to say that. 
tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a cookie tonight. Yeah, well you do what you like mate, yeah. but what are you going to cook? Yeah, only burgers and that. And are you? And salmon. Something straightforward, are you? Yeah, it's All something right, mate. straightforward. Well, well, you get set up and we'll come back in a minute, shall we? Yeah. yeah. All right. Look like things are well underway there, Joe. Yes, Trev. What's happening, mate? Oh, I'm only cooking a little bit of, little bit of salmon and in, sausages. And they're in the foil wraps, are they? Yeah, they're um, a salmon in there. I got you. Salmon in there and yeah. a few sausages and a yeah. burger. And I'll put some onions and uh, mushrooms on there in a minute. All right. Yeah. Yeah, smell good, mate. And uh, wiped on the salad. All right. I'll put my mushrooms on. Nice oh, and onions, oh. Mushrooms? Lovely. Uh, okay. uh, lovely. Ooh, smell them, mate. And this is the Cadac Grillo gas, isn't it, Joe? Yeah, it's a small one. A little medium size I, I wish one. I had a bigger one. Yeah, I know that, but, but uh, it's a medium-sized Cadac, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's a nice size for four people, really. All right. <laughs> there Joe, still concentrating on his uh, cooking. Nearly done. Getting there, any boy? Um. Yeah. And there we are, Posh Cat's Dining. Well here I am outside the Mill Hill Farm again and uh, it's been booked for two and a half years. We originally uh, planned to come here Easter 2020, it's now Easter 2022. Where are we off to now then, Sue? To pub. <laughs> What's the pub the called? The Fox. The Fox at Darsham. Darsham. Yeah, they've uh, got a lovely Facebook page and we popped in there yesterday. I'm hungry. We're all getting hungry. Yeah, we popped in yesterday to book a table and had to have a pint. Us boys and Joe's still just getting ready over here. We're going to walk through the uh, woodlands to get to it. Sue's already started block. And we'll go across the campsite and out the other end. I think the walk is about half an hour. Yeah, I've got to go down this little uh, pathway into the bottom field and then we take the footpath. We've come into Wheatear Meadow which is the uh, 
bottom end of Mill Hill Farm and the sun is getting low in the sky. Joe's got his coat on because we think it might be chilly later. But uh, go through the gate at, right at the bottom end of the field here and we'll find a footpath. And just here is the little, there's a little sign here somewhere, weren't there Joe? Pardon? Oh, here it is. There's a little sign, look. <laughs> Someone's put it down there. And we, we have to go down this footpath now along to Darsham Hall. And we walk through the grounds, uh, on, on the footpath, but through the grounds of Darsham Hall. Yeah. Please close the gate, Joe. No styles, Trevor, this time, are they, mate? No styles, no. No styles to climb over. No. Follow the footpath. A little bit muddy, this bit. Let us dry. This is the big house that owns the land that we're walking through. Beautiful property. Let's see if I can zoom right in on it. Some very old trees along this little bit of footpath. It's a very Harry Potter bush. <laughs> Lots of rabbits, isn't there, Joe? Here we are, we're at the other side of the field here now. A few daffodils just at the end of their season. And uh, we go through along here and then there's a gate out onto the road. The gates here to Darsham House. I called it Darsham Hall, but uh, I think it's Darsham House. Some beautiful thatched cottages through the village here, and uh, the church, and uh, lots of these to be found in Suffolk. Similar styles. This is All Saints Church in Darsham. and the old schoolhouse is next door. It's not very often you see uh, the old fashioned telephone boxes in the villages now, but this one is still operational, next door to the post box. Little miniature village that someone's made in there front entrance. Hmm. This little chap's climbing up the wall. <laughs> I wonder if a tradesman used to live there. The Darsham village sign and that was erected according to this. Uh, 1977. Now this part of the village there's the uh, new village hall and uh, quite a bit of new build. Well, we can hear the people in the pub. Let's go and have a look. Well we've got a 6.30 table booked so let's go in. Well, the food has arrived and Sheila is having crispy chicken fried with skinny fries and homemade coleslaw, just the same as me. And Joe, what are you going for, Joe? Scampi, mate? Scampi, mate, are they? Oh, yeah. look, your yes. favourite yeah. lemon. <laughs> Lovely. And he asked for it without lemon. <laughs> They didn't give him a lemon. No, <laughs> no, I'm teasing him. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah, <I've> got... <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, so. <laughs> Get your own back.
Well, we were going to have a little bit of a curry dinner, but unfortunately the little cafe on site has run out of curry. So uh, we're doing our own thing over here on the campsite here at Mill Hill Farm. And uh, can you hear that? It's my friend Joe. Let's have a look, see what he's doing. He's up to something. What you got in there then, Joe? I cut the pork slices up. That's pork slices, is it? You've, you've yeah, cubed I've it. Cut them all up. Yeah, I think you had some help with that, didn't I'm you? Try and do a stir fry. <laughs> yeah, I think we defrosted the pork, and uh, Joe, or well, Sheila, cut them into the pork loins into little squares, and that's on on the old uh, barbecue. Look. There's that. Well, he's making a bit I of progress put, over here. I put a salad bit on. I put oh, this just on. chatting with one of the neighbours. Well, you put the taco beans in, have you? I put the taco beans in yeah. now. Okay. The, They're mixed beans. I'll put what the you got in there? That in. Oh, right. Veggies. Yeah. Oh, that's a, a stir right. fry mix. Yeah, got ya. What else you put in there then? And I'm going to put the Chinese sauces. Chinese sauce. Oh, I'll put yeah. them in and I've got and, and a taste. And a, a sweet chilli and Good garlic. Right. Gonna mix it up a bit, are we? Let me cut the tops off. Yeah. So I've got to put them in there? No, I don't want to be on camera. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. We've got a little friend over here who's having a sniff. Let me ask her. Yeah, he got. Yeah, he's got the lead on. It's a bit too close, so I took it off. Yeah. Sophie's gone back to bed. Sophie's gone back to bed, has she? Ah. That's nice. So the sauces are going in. Possibly them, and Um, and my wife is doing the rice in the microwave. All right. Okay. Oh, it smells nice, doesn't it? Do that. Nice, Hope them people can smell it. Yeah, there? that's right. Smelly vision. <laughs> yeah, the curry was off. So now we're I having our own stir fry. We should, we should Never sell mind. some of this to so <laughs> yeah. yeah, curry. <laughs> so now. Oh, that juice now Joe's going to do a little bit of mixing it up there. Look good, doesn't it? It looks alright, doesn't it? Ah. Yeah. Cool, look at that. Really bubbling, isn't it? That's coming lovely. along nicely, Joe, isn't it? Yeah, lovely, isn't huh? it? Look at the colour of that. I don't think I'll eat it. <laughs> you ain't going to manage it all on your own, are you? You need some help. There you are. Right, I'm going to put it on the table now, shall I? Yeah, yeah. good idea, mate. Oh, are you doing them all right? I'll just have one spoon then, please, so for mine. Just one spoon? Lovely, thank you. Is that enough for you? Yeah, that's lovely, thank you. Okay. But the men will want quite a bit of rice, won't you? Yeah. Shall we put their stuff on? <laughs> Well, this is Posh Cat's dining again. Look at that. <laughs> the other side, go in the other side. You won't put me.